Shalom, Yasharala, Kahalal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, I have a video I want to do about this uh, Prophets of Doom comment that Donald Trump made. But anyhow, I'll let you hear it. This is a time for optimism. Fear and doubt is not a good thought process because this is a time for tremendous hope and joy and optimism and action but to embrace the possibilities of tomorrow we must reject the perennial prophets of doom and their predictions of the apocalypse or we must reject the perennial okay so he he says he had to you have to reject the prophets of doom and their um you know predictions of the apocalypse right but he he's taking everything and using it in his media as well. Everything that the prophets are talking about. Okay. Like I said, I only been in this truth for like a year or so. But I noticed this when it came out. I just didn't do a video on it because I wasn't uh I'm not well grounded in scriptures and I wasn't sure uh you know to make a video. But anyhow, this one here it's about the ice raids that they had at the border. And in, in, in here, I found it strange that he said there were, uh, in May, 144,000 migrants were detained at the border between the U.S. and Mexico. So I found that strange because I can't even find it anymore on YouTube where he actually used the word 144,000. But I had to Google it, and I found it on Google that they uh, put that in their media, all right? So that was strange. And then I have this one here where he said uh, on this, on this uh, interview, he mentioned a Tomo and the elect, okay? So hopefully I can get this to play because... I've been having issues with my phone and all my electronic devices. By the way, I got killed by the press. She wanted me to stay. The press said, no, no, you're supposed oh, to be. Went, That's very rude. I went, fast, I went too fast. He's talking about What's the royal here? families. Seems like there's a lot of tumult. And you've uh, been so good at keeping your oh, kids I don't know if you heard that. Let's go back. Some of the rogue royals. Like, what's happening there? It seems like there's a lot of tumult. A lot of tumult. So okay, you heard that. A lot of tumult, right? All right, let's go keeping on. Keeping your kids together in a yeah. close-knit family i think it's sad i do i think it's sad. she's a great woman you know i sat with her i was supposed to be with her 15 minutes i stayed an hour and a half by the way i got killed by the press she wanted me to stay the press said no no you're supposed to be there it's very rude we had a great time then we had dinner we were honored our country was honored i sat with her for a long time and she was smiling and laughing the whole time. The we protocol is important for her. She, she, the tradition of the monarchy yeah, and the no, responsibilities. No, but we have a very great relationship. Uh, I think this was a blindside. She was blindsided by this whole situation, and I think it's too bad. But, you know, she's been the queen. Has to be an all-time record from the time she's like 25, and now she's 94. She's never made a mistake, if you look. I mean, she's had like a flawless... Time. I think Harry should go back, come back, and fix well, it. Well, I think, I think uh, you know, I don't want to get into the whole thing, but I find it, I just have such respect for the Queen. I don't think this should be happening to her. Um, IOC announced today, and this is our final question, Mr. President, um, just announced that no politics at the upcoming Olympics, um, new policy uh, by any of the uh, athletes. Would you like to see that extended to uh, the United States where politics stay out of sports. I know you're going to the big LSU Clemson game on Monday. Well, I am, and I was responsible for getting the Olympics. The Olympics is coming to Los Angeles, and I was called by the mayor, and he said, could you do us a favor when I was president-elect? And he said, could you do it? Okay, so you heard that he was president-elect. You know, he made that real clear, elect, all right? Anyhow, and a tomo, okay? So this is the brother, uh, Abu Wan. Excuse me if I slack if I said that wrong, uh, you know, pronounce it wrong. But anyhow, right. well, we're gonna get down into it. This is it. the Tamo. I well, think it's Psalms it eighty three. Together to take down Israel. <clears throat> All right. Who are these nations today? Who are these people that are confederate against us? 
Shalom, Curly. Cutie pie. Okay, so let's go into it. We're going to start off in the book of Psalms, chapter 83. The book of Psalms, chapter 83. Keep not thou silence, O power, and hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So, okay, so you heard what he just said. You heard what the brother just said. Thy enemies have made a tumult, okay? And this is exactly what this uh, interview lady uh, said. It was, uh, if you guys want to go watch that, it's on Trump comments on the royal family drama. Uh ban a political uh let's look at that again ban a political messaging okay so this is what they're doing they're trying to stop anybody from talking about any politics besides them okay so they they they're making it a a, a big issue to cause this uh famine of the word okay so I, I saw that, you know, and I just wanted to point that out. You know, if, if you got to reject the prophets of doom, why you keep on mentioning everything? And yeah, of course you got to reject. <laughs> you got to reject because this is why you're trying to ban uh, anything political and basically the word of the most high, Yahweh. That's, that's just pretty much it. But anyhow, I just wanted to make that video. Shalom, Yashua.